In this visual method statement we will explain, waterproofing works procedure in detail. We will cover the following contents in this video. Purpose and scope. Responsibilities. Tools and equipment. Procedure. And references. The purpose of this method statement is to provide general guidelines for waterproofing works, and to define the inspection activities. It covers the activities of waterproofing works at all project sites. Responsibilities of project team includes as following, project manager is responsible of, overall responsible for ensuring the activity completion as per approved drawings and applicable standards. Site and construction manager is responsible of, site monitoring, coordination with related staff, control of all the construction's activities related to the waterproofing works. Site engineer will be, directly involved in the planning and execution of the activities involved in the waterproofing works, responsible to ensure adequate equipment are mobilized at works place prior to the starting the activity. QC engineer will, ensure and monitor waterproofing works. All activities to be executed as per client requirements, procedures, PTS, approved ITPs, and MOS. He will submit RFIs to consultant and arrange inspection for getting approval. Foreman is, responsible to execute activity of waterproofing as per IFC drawings and approved MOS. Safety officer and in charge is, responsible for ensuring best health and safety practices across working, storage areas, and during equipment operations. He will prepare risk assessment for site activities. Following tools and equipments will be required to perform this activity, gas cylinder, leveling instruments, hot air gun, and rubber hammer. The following activities are performed for waterproofing works, all waterproofing activities are carried out as per approved execution plans and inspection are conducted as per ITP and approved drawings, and all records, are maintained. The concrete surface shall be even and smooth. All sharp projections shall be knocked down and local depressions and sudden changes shall be filled with high strength mortar, to present a true surface. Now, waterproofing below grade level, tanking system approved primer shall be applied on the horizontal lean concrete surface, and after 6 hours, or, as per manufacturer recommendation, the bituminous insulation membrane shall be fixed by torch welding. Overlap between two membranes is, 100 mm. After completion of first layer of insulation member, second layer is started after taking prior approval from client or, consultant. Insulation membrane shall be protected with protection screed of 50 mm over it, before proceeding for the raft foundation. Insulation member is extended at least 20 cm beyond the outer line of raft foundation, so that it can be extended on raft and basement wall. Along the intersections of horizontal and vertical surfaces, 50 by 50 mm sand and cement mortar strip should be made. Horizontal insulation membrane is extended vertically covering raft foundation and basement wall, with proper overlap. The joint is properly torch welded and shall be checked for any gaps. Over two layer of insulation membrane on vertical wall, a protection membrane or, 15 mm protection board shall be fixed to protect the tanking system from backfilling and compaction. Moving towards next step, roof waterproofing system, Roof slab is provided with a waterproofing membrane, which can be a one layer of PVC, 1.5 mm thick, loosely laid horizontally. Joints shall be welded together using hot air gun. PVC waterproofing membrane 1.5 mm thick, fixed with adhesive, vertical, solar shield. It shall be UV resistant, stabilized bonded to parapet wall and terminated at the groove or, chase. PVC membrane adherency, shall be verified with the help of suitable tools, shown in the video for proper membrane to membrane bonding. After that, separation layer of polyethylene film sheeting, 200 microns thick, is provided. And, minimum 100 mm thick, extruded polystyrene, rigid thermal roof insulation is required to support the process. In next step, 
protection layer of geotextile made from polyester or propylene fibers, of 2 mm thick shall be provided. And, then 50 mm thick, washed rounded gravel with corner diameter of 15 to 30 mm shall be provided. Walkway 800 mm wide, loose laid precast concrete tiles, 400 by 400 by 40 mm thick, shall be provided. And solar shield, exposed type, elastomeric with 260 GSM, polyester fabric reinforcement shall be torch welded to parapet. Aluminum flashing, 50 mm by 1 mm thick, with 4 bends shall be fixed with expansion bolts to parapet. Sealant, UV resistant, shall be provided to close the gap after aluminum flashing will be fixed. During last step, we conduct, integrity testing for roofing, and waterproofing membrane, tunnels and basements, integrity test is conducted, to have an assurance, that the portions of a building, that are expected to get wet, due to weather, are in a condition to prevent water transmission, to the interior, of the building. There have been five, widely used testing methods, for testing of horizontal membranes for leakage, spray testing, flood testing, capacitance, impedance, testing, nuclear metering, and infrared, IR, thermal imaging. Depending upon the waterproofing membrane, the integrity test shall be conducted as per the approval or applicable standards. The following documents may be referred regarding this activity. Inspection and Test Plan, IDP Quality Control Procedure for Identification and Traceability Checklist and SOP, Civil Latest Revision of IFC Drawings Project Technical Specifications Approved Waterproofing System Material Technical Data Sheet ASTM D4637 Standard specification for EPDM sheet used in single ply roof membrane. ASTM D6369, Standard Guide for Design of Standard Flashing Details for EPDM Roof Membrane. Thank you for watching. We hope this work methodology will be useful at site.